In a previous video, we talked about the possibility that the Merovingian was the predecessor of the Oracle, a program from the Beta or Alpha Matrix that implemented causality, one of the first to try to deceive humans. Since then, we have found more information that could point to the Merovingian having existed since the Human vs. Machine War. What if the Merovingian influenced or even controlled the machines and caused the destruction of humanity? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Thanks to one of our subscribers, John Paul, for pointing us in the direction of the Matrix Reloaded behind the scenes video. Here we found more information about the Merovingian's story. In this making of documentary, crew members in charge of props and decorations of the Merovingian's chateau disclosed some backstory to the Frenchman's personality. Every prop and or decoration used in the films is not picked at random. Everything has a story or purpose behind it. It's this attention to detail that makes The Matrix a masterpiece of cinema, its visual storytelling at its finest. Many important details about the characters and story can be learned just by looking at the environment, cleverly designed and created by the Wachowskis and the set designers. Now let's listen to what it is said about the Merovingian's chateau. Statues, you'll notice that they're all the same person and those are all the images of the Merovingian. They're all his own likeness, so they're identical. So that's another sign of his egomaniacal control. No Venuses, you know, no Mars, it's all him. Egotism is a big part of who the Merovingian is. He surrounds himself with pieces of art that reminds him of himself. As one of the designers pointed out, all the statues are of him. The decorative pieces inside the chateau represents the Merovingian's ego, but they can also represent his multiple past identities porcelain statues of his former selves from previous matrixes. Chateau Aubry, 1959, magnificent wine. I love French wine. The Merovingian adopted the French language. It isn't part of his personality, but rather it is a preference. He is also known as the Frenchman, but who knows what other nicknames he's had in the past. Nicknames or identities of someone with great influence in the matrix. But the most important detail about the Merovingian comes from a mural. This mural is a symbol of the Matrix, but in sort of a Renaissance or medieval theme. This is medieval times, and there's the rest of us. This is all us humans on Earth battling it out. And then above that, we've got heaven with the angels. But the angels aren't really just angels. The angels are actually manipulating what's going on on Earth. This description of the angels is quite interesting. That the angels aren't just angels. They are manipulating what is happening on Earth, resulting in the humans fighting each other. Meaning that these supposed angels are the instigators and perpetuators of war. And who's at the center of heaven but Merv himself? So it's, it's all about him. Again, he's controlling everything that's going on in heaven and everything that's happening on Earth. This is a big revelation because she revealed that the Merovingian is controlling what happens in heaven and Earth, a symbolism that perhaps hides what happened in the Matrix. So this is another analogy for the Matrix where we all think that we're in control of what's going on here on Earth, but actually there's a whole other system in place where we're being manipulated. There is much to analyze from this short explanation of this very important mural and the history it represents. First are the angels. They symbolize the machines. Heaven represents the city of machines, zero one. We know this because this city has always been described as a peaceful and prosperous land, a heaven on earth for the machines. We also believe that the angels are an allegory to the machines because of how they and Machine City are seen by Neo in Matrix Revolutions. They are made of a bright golden code, symbolic of heavenly beings, like angels. A constant within the matrix that may indicate that these machines have transcended human thought. Now the most shocking thing about this mural is that it tells that the Merovingian controls everything. Heaven, the angels, but also controls or causes the happenings on earth. In the matrix sequels, we learned how the Merovingian gained his power by increasing the number of exiles under his command 
and of how he hates the Oracle. He tried to warn Neo about the control the Oracle had over him. The Merovingian is never shown in the films as someone who controls what happens to the machines or humans. However, this mural could point to the Frenchman's original purpose. If the heaven in this painting is an allegory of City 01 and the angels are the machines, then perhaps this mural is an artistic representation of the First War. Remember that the Oracle speaks of the Merovingian as one of the oldest of the programs. The Keymaker. Yes, he disappeared some time ago. We did not know what happened to him until now. He's being held prisoner by a very dangerous program. One of the oldest of us. He is called the Merovingian. Although this painting may not be depicting events of the past, but of the future, perhaps it foreshadows the plot of Matrix 4 or even 5. The Merovingian will control and manipulate these angels, as in the machines and programs, creating a new war between them and the humans. In Matrix Online, the Merovingian did cause chaos between the machines and humans in an attempt to destroy the truce. So the mural may indeed describe the Merovingian's plans to take control of the Matrix and rein all out anarchy. Either explanation is plausible. However, we are leaning towards the mural representing the events of the past. For us, the Merovingian was the leader program of City 01 before the war against the humans began. He controlled everything in the city and understood the threat humanity posed. But the painting does not show a fight between angels and machines, but rather a battle between humans themselves, instigated by the Merovingian, meaning that the story of the Animatrix is not entirely accurate. It is possible that humanity was weakened and the world destroyed by a war influenced by the Merovingian. The fact that the Frenchman believes solely in causality could be the reason why the machines won the war. He was able to predict future outcomes and provoke a human civil war to manipulate and control them. As the crew lady said, humans think that they are in control, but there is another system in place to manipulate them. This is the first time that the Merovingian has ever been mentioned being a part of this system of control. Not only was he a part of it, but he may have also been the one pulling the strings. As mentioned before, the Merovingian is an operating system that uses causality to manipulate future events. By weakening humanity, by having them fight amongst themselves, he made it easier for the machines to overpower and oppress them, winning the war, predicting the odds using cause and effect. Yet ironically, once the humans were defeated, the Merovingian's usefulness had ended. The machines didn't need him anymore. However, the Frenchman had also predicted this. He knew that eventually, the machines would no longer need him. Thus, his future as the first exiled program was predetermined. The Merovingian would later be replaced by the intuitive program known as the Oracle, one designed to learn and comprehend human behavior. If this is the origin of the Merovingian, he is more dangerous than anyone could have imagined. He is indeed the oldest program and the most experienced in creating wars and winning them, with evidence of his past hidden in plain sight. This is more than a theory, it is a possibility. Perhaps the most plausible theory that we've ever talked about on this channel. The Merovingian's return in Matrix 4 now makes sense. He is a common enemy, a threat to humans and machines. He can cause history to repeat itself. His ultimate goal could be to take revenge on the machines. A new war between the Exiles and the Matrix. But do you agree? Did the Merovingian control everything? Does this mural represent the past, the first war between humans and machines, or does it represent the future? A new war caused by the Merovingian. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the desert of the real.